Welcome fellow FJRs, today we'll be doing a brief overview on some of the interior upgrades that I've made to my FJ Cruiser, starting with the seat covers. I've had them for a little over two years, they still look brand new. They've received pretty rough use, let me tell you. They have no signs of use, so that's very good quality seat covers. And people still ask me if they're even seat covers at all, that's how good they look. And moving on to the radio, I've had this radio also for the past two to three years, and it looks beautiful. I've never had any issues with it, I've recommended it to a bunch of friends, they've, they've ordered it and no complaints, everyone's happy. I, I don't use it with the Android Auto or the iPhone uh, equivalent, but it works perfectly for them, they have iPhones. So if, if you're going to ask about that, it's good for that. Now here you can also transition through video and audio as you can see with the YouTube app, that's very cool. Here's ways nice big screen you're gonna get your your roads view easily over here your navigation marks and uh this is the radio that you could uh download uh, a third party radio if you wish but this one is very useful it's easy to, easy to operate you could seek or tune through the stations and you can save the stations as well in the presets so that's very cool you don't miss out on your fm with this radio here is the tethering feature. If you noticed up there, I do have 4G reception because this radio accepts SIM cards. So if your provider is compatible, there you go. You can even tether network to your friends while they're at it. So that's very nice. I'm even going to show off over here that I could download random apps from the Play Store, such as this Doom-like game. <laughs> it's not the easiest thing to do, but you can even play games on this. So, yeah, I'm not very good at it, but there it is. Alright, now over here I'm also going to show you that you can easily swap the themes. I customized my own theme, but here you can see that you have a variety of options. It's very easy to change. So you find whichever one suits your needs, and you give it your touch, and there you go, you have your own theme. This one, for example, looks kind of futuristic. You have your dual screen there with all the icons on the bottom and you could even download and pay for others if you want but those are the free ones this one is also futuristic it looks very nice with the map layout there here i'm going to show you how the rear view camera looks uh, i did buy separately on amazon i i nearly forgot to link it i'll go ahead and link it now before i forget and and i also programmed the radio to automatically switch to the front camera when i shift out of reverse so as you can see, I manually quit the front camera, but I could also manually reactivate it. So if I'm doing some off-road and I don't have a good view up front, I just activate my camera and there you go. That's very nice. This is the mirror dash that, that I've been using for a little less than a year, but I'm very happy with it. Uh, as you know, the view is very limited with the FJ, especially with tints. So that's very useful. I really like it. The only issue with the form factor is that it slightly interferes with the, the driver visor, as you can see. So if that's a deal breaker, it's good that you know up front and uh, now you know how to work with that. Uh, I, I really just drive with sunglasses, so it doesn't bother me one bit. And over here, I'm also going to show you that you can easily uh, switch through the brightness. You just swipe up and down. You don't have to access any weird menus for that. And here, unfortunately, the compass, I don't have it with the GPS plugged in. I already have my dedicated dash with the GPS, so I don't need more wires up here. So that's why it's whacking out. But here is also the front and the rear transitions. I just leave it always on the rear. I don't deal with this. I don't touch this. I never touch this camera. I'm just showing off that you can move around the, the view and you can also move the guidelines. So you set it up for based on your height and if you need a clearer view, there you go. You can adjust the grid lines as well. All right, so this is my dedicated dash. I've had this for a longer time and it's slightly higher quality for footage than the mirror. The mirror is more of a convenience, but this is just top-notch quality. And one, one of the best features that it has is that you can uh, just activate the Wi-Fi feature and sync it to your phone wirelessly. So here I'll show you that it connects automatically well, after the first time is automatic and you could look through the footage with ease. So you don't have to take out the SD card and fumble through 
get it over to your house and look through the laptop. You can just look it right straight on your phone. This is the SD card that I recommend. It's a high endurance SD card. Remember, your dash cam is always recording, if you, especially if you have the hardware uh, kit. So you don't want the cheap ones. I've had one burn out on me and I lost my data there. So, And this is the best phone holder I've used. It does not feel flimsy. It grips nice and tight. And it's a one-handed operation, as you can see. It's not finicky, you don't have to occupy your cup holder. You just put your phone up there and it's out of sight, out of mind. And this is the coil USB cord that I recommend. It's nice and coiled, so it's not, it's not dangling off there. It looks nice and neat. And it charges fast. It's the fast charger cord. As well as the, the USB uh, cord, I'll also link it. Forgot to record that there. These are the meshes that I found that kind of blend with the FGA theme. So it adds a bit of real estate. You can put some mints there, some small items, and it looks very nice, at least on my opinion. By the way, you can see that I put the screws on it. I did not bother with the double-sided tape it brings, so that's my choice. Uh, this is the shifter that I bought. It's the TRD shifter, and this is the transfer case shifter. Uh, it's not as subtle as the TRD, but I like it. I like the I like the lighting and I do like the, the clear blue view. It kind of mimics the blue, the BMW shifter, if you know them. And also here is the climate knobs. I really like this because they look black and silver. They, they look kind of uh, like they seamlessly blend with the theme. This is the best uh, quad charger that I've found. I have years with it and I've never had issues with it. My passengers always use it. Quick charges hasn't died on me so that's a first all of them quit on me within a year unfortunately unfortunately guys i could not find a link for this uh organizer it's very nice for you could stick a, a wine bottle back there and keep everything nice and neat oh man if i could find the link i'll, I'll share it with you guys I, I i bought it locally well on the uh, on this club actually i bought it on fj nation from some guy so very thankful for that. Here are the rear handlebars that I found that are pretty cool. You mount them to the headrest. Nice and sturdy. They don't wobble around. Highly recommend them. Alright, so I guess I've concluded everything that I, I was going to show off. Uh, if I missed anything, feel free to just point them out to me and I'll gladly share the information with you. Thank you for sticking uh, through the video. It's not a short one, so I uh, hope you guys liked it. Have a good one. Bye-bye.